What's going on YouTube, I'm here. Welcome back to my Red Dead Redemption 2 walkthrough. Let's get straight into it. Right, let's go see what Dodge is first. Got me to do this time. You okay there? Working it all out. Once and for all, Arthur. Mm. What now? We're back, and I'm sitting here. And I am contemplating the great journey of the sun and considering a famous chess move. Those oily enactors of a mediocre justice, the Pinkertons, and their benefactor, the depressing millionaire, Leviticus Cornwall, they want us. They want us. And they are going to have us. Well, maybe they ain't the problem. Meaning? I don't know. It's just... <laughs> I can't help but feel we would have been better running off someplace else. But the, the game ain't over, Arthur. I mean, I ain't, I ain't played my my final move. But I guess I'm more interested in surviving than winning a chess. Or maybe life ain't such a thing to cling on to so tightly. No doubt. What's our move here? You sound like a good guy. Um, I asked you a question. What do you think? We can't stay here. That much is obvious. Where are we gonna run to? I mean, they chased us from the west. They chased us over the mountains. They ran us into the sea. Arthur, do you have my back? Always, Dutch. But there's more than your back to worry about. We need more money. We've been on the run for months now. And I see you. Killing folk in cold blood like you always told me not to. And I'm sorry, but I can't help but think that if we tear this country in Roanoke Ridge past Butcher Creek, I believe we could hold. It. Okay. And you and Charlie take folks up that away. Micah. And I need to do some reconnaissance. I ain't got a final plan yet. Why, sir, I ain't got it. I just need time. I need time, and no traitors. for a place to hold up. Even the law won't follow us up there too willingly. Yeah. I did some scouting up there while you boys were away. And? Mm. We'll see. <sighs> I know the way. Follow me. We need to get this done fast. The Pinkertons will have reinforced in another day or two. Yeah, the sooner we get out of here, the better. Ha! It's quite a ride up there. I saw some canoes near the bridge up river, which would take us right up to Butcher Creek. Might be quicker. What do you think? I say we just ride it. It ain't worth messing around with boats. Okay. Sure. It's good to see you again, Charles. You too. Thanks for what you did in Saint Denis. Real brave drawing them off us like that. 
I was worried you and Abigail had both got yourselves killed. I found a spot to lie low for a while, then managed to get a ride with a wagon of workers heading out to the fields. Abigail said she somehow managed to slip away when they grabbed Isaiah. You did good getting the others out of there, keeping everyone together. Everybody was pretty shaken up when I got back to Shady Bell. Uh, it was a tough few days. I couldn't have done it without Sadie. So how did you find that spot back there? I assume the skulls on sticks weren't an addition to yours. <laughs> Old Strauss knew about it. The locals are terrified of the place, so we figured that might buy us some time. And it did. Until one of you brought the law with you. And where did you end up again? Cuba? Oh, uh, not exactly. An island off of there, called Guarma. Landed ourselves in a heap of trouble. Really? A tropical island? Isn't that just what Dutch wanted? Uh, I guess it didn't exactly live up to his ideals. Anyway, I ain't always sure Dutch knows what he wants anymore. Perhaps not, but he's always managed to figure things out in the past. I know. Hey, you're right. Just... It's been... Uh, guess I just miss Hosea and his uh, wisdom, you know? Of course. So, I spent some time up this way while you were gone. I ran into Rainsfall and Eagle Flies, the Indians. And I've been trying to help out a bit where I can at the reservation. Things are bad there. Uh, that's not a surprise. They seem to be in a lot of trouble heading into more. Some men there spoke a lot about the Murphy gang that hides out in these caves. A place called Beaver Hollow. They're animals. Everyone is terrified of them. Just recently, a stagecoach from Annisburg disappeared without a trace coming through here. Great. <laughs> Dutch didn't mention this. Well, hiding up here. It's not a crazy idea. This is a spot nobody comes near. Even the law. But just be ready. It won't be pretty. Well, so be it. You see that up ahead? Slow down. Keep it quiet. Be some of them. I say we dismount here and follow them on foot. See where they're going. Follow me. Stay quiet.
like the other. Because I do the skinny. Well, how about I do the skinny? Then Quick, Arthur. Good job. Uh, we must be close now. Let's stop and have a look from the top of this hill there. Stagecoach went missing. Jesus. They must be in the cave. All right. Let's get on with this. Okay. What you think? We can head into the cave or flush them out with dynamite. Dynamite be safer. Yeah. Let's be quiet and hope they don't come out. Let's get this over with. Don't touch me! 
From Antisburg. What do we do with her? We take her there and I'll go get the others. Sure. Miss, you okay to ride on my horse a little? I'll keep you safe. Antisburg, right? Yes. They, 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 um. It's okay, miss. The others, they, they killed them. You're safe now. Just try to breathe. They're animals. I know. Yeah. <laughs> You get on, okay? Found a girl. I took her home. Oh, you and Mike find anything? Maybe. I think maybe. I found our old friend, Mr. Cornwall. You did? Yeah. He's buying a stake in the mine in Annisburg. Relentlessly ambitious fella, isn't he? Mike and I'll sniff about, see if he knows we're here, and exactly what his plans are. So, Dodge! Did you miss me? I found her. 
Drunk as Saint Denis. You're back. How jolly, Miss it's O'Shea. It's funny, you suck of shit. Back Who and are you? drunk. The master, the Lord Molly. God, all my. Calm down. I won't be ignored. Dutch Vanderlyn, I am in him. I ain't her. I ain't his stooges. Calm yourself. You don't know me, nothing. Miss. I don't know you, nothing. Nothing. Okay. I'll spit in your eye. I did. I told them. I'm sorry. Yeah, I told them. I tell them again. Now I've got God's ears. I was her. What? Mr. Milton and Mr. Ross about the bank robbery, and I wanted them to kill you. You did what? I loved you. You goddamn bastard. God, shoot She's me. Crazy. She ain't worth it. You told on me. Oh, you betrayed me. Why? Arthur, he's a fool. <laughs> you know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You <laughs> She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging! I wasn't expecting her to shoot me. Oh. I wasn't expecting that. I'm a trophy as well. Where's my other horse? Oh yeah, there. Uh... Miss it, guys. Damn, this rain is really coming down, isn't it? Alright, I think I've got mail, so... Yeah, I do have some kind of mail. That's nothing important. Alright, 
where to now then? Map. Whoa, I've got to go all the way down here. I'll do first. I'm gonna do this one first. That shouldn't take too long. And I'm gonna head to what's that one? And I'm gonna do that one and then I head to Sadie. Say so waypoint there. And I'll start recording when I get there again guys. It's a bit your breast, and metaphorically I mean, like a mother, caring and raising them, and then they go and stab you in the back. Have you ever betrayed a close friend? I hope not. Well. Treachery! And these are sad, low, unlovable people, and I made them stars, dreamers, entertainers, and they... Oh no, now family's not enough. No, no, he's gone off alone. My little oh, tiny magician has gone and stabbed his mom in the back. Oh, fuck it, he. No, Bertram, 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 woof, woof, Bertram, put the nice man down. Do something, you only eat him. Um, uh, e e e easy there. Uh, easy there. Sherry! Bertram! Martin no. got a walk that out. Ah, mean. Sit down and be good. No fair. Mean man. You be even more. Easy boy. He's strong. Right. Still think you're tough. Come here, Bertram. <laughs> oh, yes, Marjorie's here. No one's gonna hurt you ever again. Mama, you should keep that thing in a cage. You should think about who you're serving. Give me a beer, will you? Don't worry, we'll pay for what we broke. Come here, Bertram. Oh, no one looks after you like Mama does. No one cares for you like I do. Especially not that Magnico, hmm? But... <laughs> He's my friend. Yes, well, if he were your friend, he'd be here, wouldn't he? He wouldn't have abandoned us. Oh, you wouldn't have gotten that whoopsie, would you? Whoopsie heart. I know. Mama's going to make it all better. But first, you got to tell me where that little worm ran off to, hmm? But Bertram promised. Yes, well, Magnifico made a promise, too, huh? He made more than a promise. He made a contract, and he broke it, so... You just tell me exactly where he is, and then we will all be even. That's my boy. He's camping in the woods. Why didn't you tell me in the first place? You just apologize to these men. I'm sorry. Yeah. I'm sorry. You gave me a whoopsie. Hey, you just stay away from that sherry now, you hear? Bertram Black Sherry. Oh, don't you get him started. Thank you for all of your help, Mr. Stranger. If you see that slippery little fella sleeping rough out there, would you just make a little racket and then we'll come along and we'll find you? I could try. Oh, his name is Magnifico. You'll know him when you see him. Come along, Bertram.
going to be in a better place. Uh, stay calm. Uh, breathe deep and repent, or you will be moved to a better realm. Ladies and gentlemen, behold the calm removal of this man's existence. <laughs> It doesn't need it. Wow, okay. Um, where to now then? Right, let's go over here and get this one done. Right, dang it, I don't need to do that. I didn't even recognize him. Okay. What are you dressed up like that for? I am a wanted man, persecuted for my art. As bad as it is, I don't think that the art is the problem. In Paris, they say leave, go far away. We will never understand you here. I say, I go to Saint Denis. They say that is not far enough. <laughs> it seems to me that they were right. It doesn't matter. Now, I go to South Pacific. They always tell me the light there is perfect for my work. Well, so long as they weren't telling you that just to get you on the other side of the world. Perhaps. It doesn't matter. Help me get to the next ship. They are watching the port, and I need a chaperone. <sighs> okay, come on. Oh. I'll tell you what I won't miss. Civilization, so oppressive, so stifling, I can hardly breathe in this city. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean. Why I thought I would find my way in a country founded by Puritans, I'll never know. I know those men. I shot on that bar. Quick, behind here.
avoid that place. Sailors know who they're bunking with. We have many weeks together. We will get to know each other well. Well, good luck to all of you. Relax. Hey, up here. She is my ship. So long. If they don't like you in the islands, keep on going to the South Pole. Ah, yes. I hear there the light is really fantastic. Ah, au revoir.
one is fucking sad like that then. I just jumped into the water to get away from him. Didn't feel like I was getting another shootout. Well, I'm glad that guy's gone, this is a bit weird. <laughs> Where to now then? Map. Uh, looks like I'm doing Slady then. Which is just around the corner, which is. You head in there, friend. Go on. Can I help you? Oh, I, I need a doctor. Oh, uh, just one second, sir. Come in, pal. Come in. So it seems. <coughs> and that's Dr. Mister to you. I'm sorry. Uh, I was joking. Look, friend, I don't mean nothing, but you got money? I mean, before I start treating you, because I got a family. Yeah, I understand. Here, let do. Uh, sure. Thank you. Now, what's wrong? I mean, what appear to be the symptoms? Well, I think you've heard them and I'm coughing. Is there any blood? Sometimes. Uh -huh. Okay, now here. Breathe. Again. Yeah. Let me see your tongue. Now say ah. Ah. What is it? Not good news. Well, I guess that. You got tuberculosis. I'm really sorry for you, son. It's a hell of a thing. Oh, what do you mean? You're real sick. You... It's a progressive disease. And you'll be... Now, the best thing is rest. And getting somewhere warm and dry and taking it easy. Now, is that possible? Sure, I can just take my winters in my country club in California. No, it's not possible. Well, like I said, I, I'm real sorry. Yeah, well. Now, oh, wait, wait. Uh, let me get you a little bit more energy today.
turned into a bunch of killers, I mean it. Okay, what a turn of events. Okay, it's not splash on the map. What's that thing flashing on the map? Problems coming in? Nah. Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. Now. Yeah, that was. What happened in. Um... Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Because he seems. I don't know. Seems as. What began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. What do you mean? I ain't quite sure. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea? So I too. <laughs> Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well the morgue and buried them together. You coming? I guess. Follow me. your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. You ain't serious. Now, the pilot, or whatever you call him. He thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Heron's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swanson, well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left at the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. What? Yeah. Seems they've drifted down this way now. You're a busy woman, Sadie Adler. Oh, she a beauty, ain't she? 
From here on the ground, yes. Mr. Bullard? Hmm. Mr. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today, an Icarus would have made it across the sea. Ha, ha, ha. Have you ever flown before, sir? No. Oh, well, it's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? They can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. <clears throat> Are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh, pull on that rope uh, and hope for the best. Ah! You boys have fun. How did you get out of this? <laughs> okay, here goes nothing. Right, time to catch a few vapors of our own. It's a little overcast, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. We won't get anywhere fast if you don't use the burner, sir. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client once who fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience for all involved. Keep going, sir! We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. Remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. Whoa there. No need to go any higher. shouldn't be doing this? Oh, not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. Uh, I didn't, exactly. Uh, 
Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise you. Ah, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. Or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God. Hmm. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly is to control, you know. Should we, uh, think about heading back? That's not him. Please hurry. Hmm, that could be him. Yep, that's him. Ah! My God! What are you doing? They're shooting at us! I can see that! Ascent! Ascent! Didn't I tell you this would happen? We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Here, God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Aye, uh, we're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. Get up. Good Lord, my heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well. It's done now. <laughs> ah, there's Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord, is that... is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Hey! Say it! Not there! You're just in time! Shit! They're all drifters! Mrs. Amber has a lot to answer for! Yes, she does. Oh dear, that boiled egg feels decidedly scrappled!
your neck? I don't think so. Uh, maybe. Uh, uh, damn it, look. There's more of them on the other side. They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These goddamn old crystals! You can't... Stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. <coughs> from a state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a boat, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that.
Oh, that's amazing. If you say so. Okay. Uh, <laughs> are you Magnifico by any chance? I'm not going back. She's a witch. She's a witch. Who? Presta. Well, Marjorie. she cares about you a lot. Well, I'm the talent. It's me. It's all me. I share the money with her and, uh, you know, that thing. No, stay away. You've made love to her, haven't no, you? That's not She's it. a succubus. She's a succubus. No. Ah! Stay away from me. Hey, partner, come back here. Can't magic out of this part. Can't magic out of this partner. Come on now, she ain't as bad as all that. Over here, dummy. said you had a contract. You want me? Come and get me. <laughs> hey, uh, hold on there. Ah, so long, it. dummy. Where are you? enough for a ticket? Pa. Because the way Big Fanny tells it, you spent all of our takings on a case of the French pox. Maybe I did. So what? What do you need a stub of a showman for? Same bad jokes? The same cheap tricks? In a package half the size? You got Bertram. You got Dummy over there. Who is Dummy anyway? The missing link? <laughs> oh, <laughs> shut up, you dimwit. You sold me out. You should watch your mouth. You don't need me. You're better off without me. Even you, Dummy. Go on, clear off. Aim for the top, all of you. I'm out of food and I'm out of ideas. Leave me for the bears. I won't be more than a mouthful. You robbed me. Whoa. You robbed uh, your brother. So you are going to be pulling uh, rabbits out of your uh, ass until you are as uh, old as you are tiny. Uh, Put them up there. Ah, uh, some friends, some friends. We ain't friends. Oh, 
We're family, as much as it pains me to say it. Family? Still after everything? Well, of course, you silly little man. And him? Met him at the bar, agreed to help. Ah, sleeping rough don't suit me much. I know. Come to Mama. Oh, yeah. I did miss you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now, don't you ever run off on us like that again! Back together! Back together! Well, I'm glad it all worked out. Thanks to you. Thank him, boys. Thank you! Uh, thanks for nothing, dummy. No get in the back. We ought to give you a piece of the gate on our next show. You earned it. Huh? We'll be playing San Denis next. Check with the box office. Here! No one said anything about splitting the gate. Oh, shut up. Half man and half wit. Bye bye. What I'd done to deserve you, too. Why are both my altars here? Okay, I'm gonna have to last level one and take the one back to camp. Uh, okay, let me figure this out. How far is camp from here? All the way up there. Okay. I'm gonna go make a little and I'll probably do it one there as well actually. It's just a little waypoint in there. I don't know what both my horses are here for. That's confusing. That's not happened before. I'm just getting back to camp. Who is that? It's Arthur. Don't know how both my horses end up there. Start by tying this one up here. Get shot horse. And I'll hit you. There. Thing out. And the waypoint. Dear Sir. You were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn, and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days I am to be found at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are thankfully no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Okay.
things what do I have? Outfits. What am I doing now? Map. Well, you know, I'm not just doing a slip off Strauss 1 1 there. Right. 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 I'm gonna have my mic there, guys. Sorry, I'm going through. Mr. Morgan. Herr Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <coughs> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Hmm? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Uh, well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. <laughs> then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? <laughs> All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. Is that it? Um, got the time for one more mission. I ain't going over there yet. I'll hide down there when I can. Oh, I'm ahead to say I didn't get one done then. Time for one more mission. Oh, what's this one here? I'm jail at some point. Alright, guys, I'll cut the video up for now until I get there. Just in a sec. Susan? Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so many years. Why did they smash? I don't know. Look at this place. Oh. Divided, everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. Me too. Yep. I'll come across this. Don't know what it is. So. Uh, quick look. Hey. Heaven is it? I don't want to put perspective. Idiot. Easy now. Right, let's cross the bridge and see what I can see. What do you want? It looks crazy. Always in pain. You okay? 
You, you sick, partner? Uh, it's in me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, Butcher's grit. Butcher's grit. Uh, Where? Uh, Butcher's grit. Is that where you're from? Butcher's grit. You want me to take you back, or...? They're in me. Come on, let me get you home. Okay. That doesn't take too long. Oh, Alright guys, I'll stop recording again when I get to the location of where I've got to go in Butcher's Creek. While I'm here, it's like 10 seconds to the air pretty much, so not that far. Yeah, he was in some distress. <laughs> yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. The mule, sweet mule, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, come on, get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? No, he, he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. Well, thank you, sir. Hey, thank, thank you for the... Please, please, sir. Uh, uh, you are not well. Uh, uh. You got anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hilton, that's me. Love and friendship, friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. Okay, well, that's a bit odd. All right, let's head back to Sadie. I'm sure I was gonna go in the first place. See you in a sec, guys. I'm getting quite close. Yeah, I thought so. The thing is, nah. No play point. I don't know if I'm gonna like it again now, guys. Right. Sadie, I really can't. I must come. He's my husband. I know. I insist. Insist all you like. Ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But... But nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know you are. We'll bring him back to you. Thank you! Thank you both! Alright, here goes nothing. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find a spot to look for John. This time of day, prisoners will probably be working the fields. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and... Come on. 
You can use the scope. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group in front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay, take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Why am I using this one when I've got my own one? Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. Put the gun down, man. You put the gun down. Where's John Marston? Uh, uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh. and get him together. Oh. Try anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes, very clear. Oh, no, you don't. Come on, partner. <clears throat> Why don't you apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, where do we go? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, is he a nice fella? Uh... He's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. Great plan, that's marching up to the prison gates. And the guards are prisoner. Oh, God. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Great plan. This part is even works. Come on, march him straight up to the front right. You better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. Don't shoot! Okay, friend, be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's insulting me. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Uh, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. Of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or very funny. No, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, Faster. 14, 15. Six, six, six. I hear you. Well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Hey, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Now hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on. Don't cry, buddy. I don't wanna die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey, hey, John. Hello, you too. Now, no funny business. Well, Mr. Medican here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! We've got 
Coming here, don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys, let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Let me. You, you're a better shot. All right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. Keep them off us. actually worked. You know, I think I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up! They're gonna be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. I enjoyed that one actually. Especially with dynamite. That's fun. Uh, hey, Arthur. Thank you. Don't mention it. Let's go. 
We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. Yeah. So what the hell happened in San Denise? Is Abigail all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And then we... What about... The, the money? Lost somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Wait, you're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but things ain't been good, John. <laughs> you're telling me. We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus! Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, I should warn you... Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or well, maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. Huh. Yes, now. Nah. To be honest, when... Oh. Arthur was kidnapped by uh, what's his name? He did nothing. We told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. We'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur. It ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John. John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. They... They was talking of hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking and now they may come and hang us all Thinking of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Okay. Thanks, Mary Beth.
that was fun. Arthur. Thank you. Thank you so much. I thought it was fun. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems to have lost his mind. And no. Mm -hmm. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. Try to keep your head straight. Uh-huh. Hello, Arthur. Not exactly a welcome home party. Well, you warned me. I'll fill you in some more later. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. All right then, Arthur. I enjoyed that mission. That was actually quite fun. <laughs> well, I think that's it today for today, guys, anyway. Um, uh, this video is a bit longer, else I can, otherwise I can play this game all day and keep recording. Um, anyway guys, if you like this video, and the series I'm doing so far, please subscribe and reaction bell to update all my content. Take care guys, peace out.